Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. Today we're going to take a look at two useful pieces of software. The first is Homebrew, which is a package manager for macOS. So you can install software from the command line without having to go out and download it first. Uh, and this also gives you the ability to uh, keep things updated from one spot and it basically gives you similar functionality to what is existent on Linux with different package managers such as apt and RPM or DNF. We are going to install NeoFetch. So we're going to install this uh, install NeoFetch on two different machines. First, we're going to install it with Homebrew after we get Homebrew installed on the Mac. And then we're going to install it on a Linux virtual machine. So let's transition over to a full screen and get started. Alrighty. So we're at the Homebrew website, which is brew.sh. And we need to copy this line of code and go to our Mac terminal and paste it in and go ahead and run this and so that's going to create some new directory that's going to uh, do some downloading and it's going to go ahead and get our install underway. So while we're waiting for that, um, get rid of the browser. Okay, so we are going to enter to continue. Um, and password okay so that's doing its thing we're going to switch over to the Linux machine I'll make this a little bit larger so people can read it better and we're going to do sudo apt install neo fetch dash y password and this is going to go a little bit quicker because we don't have to install the package manager as well as the package we want. So the cool thing about NeoFetch is that it is very quick to come back and give you the logo of the distribution that you're working on as well as some information. There is a configuration file involved that we'll take a look at here in a moment. But in its default form it gives you what you see on your screen now. So this is my Ubuntu message queue uh, virtual machine, Ubuntu 18.04.1, virtual box it's running on, kernel 4.15, seven hours, nine minutes uptime, 560 packages, bash version, terminal, uh, Intel CPU, that's running on my uh, laptop that has the beta version of VirtualBox 6.0 on it and it tells you the memory that's been allotted uh, memory in use and max memory for that VM so we are still uh, installing on Mac OS so while we're doing that, let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at the configuration file. Configuration file is located in slash etsy slash neo fetch and it's the con config.conf file
And this is really a pretty simple configuration file the way it's laid out. It's got a function to print info and you've got different pieces in here and you can see that you've got some that are commented out. So for instance we might want to enable the local IP address and the public IP address. Actually for the video I don't want to do the public IP address. We might want to add install date. And let's see if we come down here uh, you've also got options for the kernel and it gives you examples even of which format goes with which option. We'll leave that one alone. Uh, let's see. On distro leave that alone. OS architecture we'll leave alone. Show path to shell again for the purposes of this video I'm going to leave a lot of this stuff alone but this does give you the idea that there are some pretty interesting configuration options so maybe we want temperature frequency on and we want it in Fahrenheit GPU brand is on and we'll call it good there so we will save that and then we will scroll back up so you can see what we had before this information right here and we'll clear the screen well I'll have to get back with you on that one that's interesting so let's see back over here on the Mac OS side our homebrew has finished so we can do brew install NeoFetch make that a little easier to see so that's finished we'll clear our screen and run NeoFetch on Mac OS and as you can see it tells you even which version of the Mac Mini I'm running and other interesting pieces of information about that machine. Pretty useful uh, status information there. Again this is not installed by default. You do have to install it which makes it you know, a, a little less useful than something like Top, which is installed pretty much everywhere that you have a Unix-like system. Uh, but if you are beyond the um, new user state especially on the Mac and you have come to enjoy homebrew and use it for installing software then uh, go ahead and check this out and see what you think I find it useful myself your mileage may vary on that but uh, let me know in the comments what you think and uh, or if you have some alternative that you prefer or if you have a custom script that you pull down from github and use uh, whatever the case may be uh, 
it'll give us some more ideas for future videos and we will keep things moving. So as most of you know, this is my first video back after a two week hiatus where I spent time backing up and reinstalling my Mac Mini. Uh, this is still underway. I've still got software to install to get my full functionality back that I had previous. But I am at the point where I can start pushing out videos again. I'm hoping this weekend to start uh, getting some recorded and then all I have to do is edit those down and get those released. Uh, hopefully next week I will be returning to my Tuesday Friday schedule, so two videos a week. I'm also considering doing more with the live streams. So if you have a uh, preference for a live stream for one of those videos per week um, or if you think I should add them in addition to the two videos please let me know in the comments I am looking at continuing to build this channel and take it to the next level going into 2019 uh, my goal is that by the end of 2019 that we will be at that goal and this can move from being just a hobby project to being a uh, potential uh, income generator, at least to the point where it will buy some extra tech for me. On that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. I thank each and every one of you for watching and for your support. If you are new and you haven't clicked subscribe, please do so. Click the bell icon for notifications. Feel free to leave comments below. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Post me on Facebook uh, or in a Facebook group it, that you might be a part of. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.